Welcome down to a very exciting news update right here on Theme Park Insanity. since we've done a Hyperia construction update right here on the channel and with so much progress being made over the past week it seemed only fair that we made another little video kind of keeping you guys up to date and showing you exactly what has happened down on the site of Fort Park's brand new roller coaster again set to be the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster when it opens up in 2024 but before we do get into this if you do go to enjoy this video please make sure that you hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and smash the like button to let us know that you're enjoying our content and without further ado let's get into this over the past few weeks, we've seen so much of Hyperia shooting up at Fort Park. We've seen that huge turnaround section, very unique, probably one of the most exciting parts of the ride going into place. We've seen that final turnaround section, and over the past week, we have seen the final airtime hill and the brake run finally lifted and secured into place. Now, this is a really significant moment for the ride, and it also means that with all of this kind of area being uh, complete, and obviously all of the sort of landscaping now kind of progressing quite fast on the ride itself, Itself. The next part to us suggests that we're moving towards the front of the site and that can only mean one thing. So the next logical step of course will be for the turnaround section at the beginning of the ride and that massive lift hill to finally start making its way skywards and when this does go into place make no mistake this is going to be a real statement for Fort Park because of course 236 feet high with a vertical 180 degree twist dive as you kind of go down it's going to be something very special and it's going to really dwarf other roller coasters at the park. Now before obviously they kind of get on with that as we said we've seen all of that brake now completed the track has gone into the station they started to put in some of the electrics now for the ride as well so the control panel etc of course will be going in over the coming weeks the main computer system has now been installed at the bottom of the station it's all wrapped in tarpaulin and it's fair to say they're really moving fast with this now at the beginning of the project they were kind of just doing Monday to Friday in terms of the works but they've now progressed to doing over the weekend as well and really committing to kind of completing this ride as quickly as they possibly can but I'm just going to put some pictures over the screen now for you to see and as you can see there the brake run on Hyperia is now complete complete with all of its fins its catwalk the panels that will obviously hold the sensors for the brake run and that final airtime hill there as well which is estimated to be between about sort of 30 and 40 feet high now as Dominic Garner has said, it does look very similar to the position where you kind of had that final sort of drop on Logger's Leap, and it definitely has, has a reminiscent look of that. But the fact that the brake run is now complete, it's usually one of the first things that they do install on the ride itself is a brake run. Of course, they've been focusing on the bottom end of the ride and the bottom end of those, you know, sort of like the site in general where the big massive turnaround is. But we have that ride in now, or that section of the ride, should I say. And of course, that can only mean that they're going to move forward to where the lift hill is. And yet, yeah, significant progress been made they've also managed to sort of complete the main trough for, there for the uh, splashdown section two and of course we'll see trap being put into that very very soon indeed we'd imagine i think it's around about three meters kind of below sort of ground level and that's so you're going to come down you're going to have a massive splash effect as you kind of go through and it's going to look absolutely incredible but yeah very exciting times at fort park and a very significant moment for hyperia's construction so one of the other questions we get asked here on TPI lot is when do we think Hyperia will open to the public? Well, current estimates for us put it at late April slash early May. And the reason that we say that is, of course, once they've completed all of the installation of the ride, they've got all the electrics working, everything's doing what it should be doing, they've got to then commence with testing. And testing can usually take a good fair few months. Now, say they complete the installation of this ride by late January, early February. Then, of course, they've still got March, April and potentially early parts of May before they can really open this ride to the public and if it does stay on schedule and no further kind of bad weather kind of sort of like puts them off building it then yeah I reckon we're looking at late April slash early May which of course will put that a late spring, spring slash kind of beginning of the summer season a perfect time for Fort Park to open that ride and a perfect draw for new visitors as a whole. So there you have it folks, the brake run is now complete, the final airtime hill is now complete, a lot of the foundations have now been completed including kind of a massive pyramid structure at the beginning of where the lift hill will be and so much progress over the past week has taken place on the site of Hyperia. So it's safe to say we're very excited here at Theme Park Insanity, we can't wait to see this ride or at least the lift hill start to go vertical again, I think that's going to be very soon now indeed and yeah overall very exciting times as you can probably tell, I'm really kind of feeling positive and very very kind of energetic 
energetic about this ride. It's going to be a great new addition. And yes, it's not the longest, but it's definitely going to be by far one of the best roller coasters in the UK, if not the best roller coaster in the UK when it does open next year. But if you really enjoyed this video, again, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and again, if you have, smash the like button and let me know. And do let me know in the comments below, guys. Are you excited for Hyperia? What do you think of the current progress that has taken place? And what do you expect to see next done on the project with the brake run and obviously those other parts of the ride now being completed? Do let me know in the comments below, guys. But for now, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.